Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right, thanks for joining us on today's video. Iconic cars, lots of them. Ones that you know right away, maybe only one, two, or three of them. This right here definitely falls in that category. 55 T-Bird, think about this. The first year for this car, 1955, right? We're in 2013, we're heading to the 60, 70 year old mark of these cars. I mean, unbelievable uh, the condition and restoration of these cars and how stylish they are uh, going down the road 50 and 60 years later. These things here always tried to copy them in the new cars and they just can't pull it off like these old schools can. And the difference is this. And here's how you know you got a cool car. You ready? Take this car out to dinner, pull up to the restaurant, pull up to the valet and see where they park this car and see if they don't push that Porsche, Ferrari or Jag to the parking lot out back and put this thing right up front. And everybody who walks out there, you just stand out there for a minute, pretend like you're taking up smoking. Like I don't even smoke, but I pretend I take up smoking. I just like to watch. Everybody talks about that and everybody does one thing that's contagious that you know that you're always gonna get back. They have this saying that, give a smile, you'll always get it back. And the truth of the matter is, it's always what happens. You smile at somebody, you know they're gonna smile back. Everybody smiles when they see this. Goldenrod yellow, 55 T-Bird, professionally restored. Come check out this paint first off because it's painted on the bottom like it is on the top and not every car is done like that. So this is really, really nice. The yellow makes it hard to show up in this light here, the fluorescent light for, for the type font. But I have to tell you uh, that I can read the time in my watch. I can see the font in there. Let's talk a little more about the styling of this here. So this here, not only is the styling great, this has nothing to do with us, the styling, but I wanna show you a couple small things. So the styling is the beginning of the jet age. You got the jet intake engine right here. and we go out the back, you can see the jet exhaust pipes coming out the back. But this grill and mug right here, this is a lot of styling features. Eyebrows over the headlights. The hood scoop there screams performance, right? This egg crate grill, European styling right here. And if you can see down here, it's got a beautiful frame that's all been done. And all the detail stuff is really, really expensive. So the hard work's really been done for you. All right, let's keep walking around for a second. I want to show you a couple things. Most people have the wheel covers on their car. These are genuine wire wheels. These are not wheel covers. These are not uh, uh, cheap imitations with the Thunderbird emblem on there. Wide lights on here. Now, this is a nice touch that a lot of people don't uh, ask for. And that's, this has wide, white radials on it. Radials were like one of the best inventions to ever come across cars because if you ever driven uh, some of the old school cars with belted tires on it, maybe you even remember back in the day, they didn't like bumps, they didn't like ruts in the road, they didn't like uh, the cold weather, they certainly didn't like sitting for a while because they get flat spots in them. This right here takes it to a whole nother level and makes a car even nicer to drive, right? You got your fender vents here. This is designed for extruding heat, but it's just a styling feature showing this. Now keep in mind, this is the first year for this car. We're talking 1955. All right, come on back around here. You got your jet engine flowing here. You got this. Now this right here, believe it or not, is the real exhaust system on the car. This is through right here, comes up through the bumper and out through here. It takes a while to bend all that and get it just right. You don't have to uh, uh, break up the body lines with a gas filler door on either side because they've put it right here. Trunk lock has a cover on it. It's just great styling, man. Check this thing out and look at the, the metal work on here. It's beautiful. And if you want to, for a totally different look, you can actually take the fender skirts off and it gives you a completely different look on the car. Now, this car does have a feature on it uh, that T-Birds did not come standard with. And most people don't know that. The Thunderbird came uh, in 55, the early cars. This is number one, I think in the 190s. I'll check the VIN for you real quick. But uh, uh, these early cars did not come with a hard top or a soft top. Then the hard top became standard. The soft top was optional, and, uh, and most cars do not have the soft top, and to try to find a soft top today is very expensive, and I'll show you why. Okay, so check this out. Like, where's the soft top? The cool thing about it is you didn't trade any trunk space to, to get rid of the soft top. This is an ingenious idea. Check this out. This is a factory original one. That's the cover. Look, it's all painted in here. It's got seat belts in the car for you already in place. Here's new wiring, which is beautifully painted and detailed in here. This just folds right down that gap there behind that. And this little guy comes up like this. And in just a minute, boom, there you are. Soft tops up, you're out of the weather, and you're ready to roll on down the road, uh, keeping things smiling and happy. You can't say that about every car. Some of the cars have clip-in windows, some of the stuff. And this one here has some really nice luxury features. And when we get inside the car, we're gonna check those out too. 
It's always nice when stuff works. Okay, like check this out. So we got the Correct 292 V8, freshly built with the transmission built. This has a pretty rare option that I've never seen before, and that's the overdrive manual transmission. First off, most of these were automatic. Uh, and the fact that this is manual is really makes it nice to drive. And then it's got overdrive as well, so you have multiple gears to choose from and can cruise on the highway all day long. You got the original Ford style hoses around here. You got the right air cleaner on here with the uh, cork uh, seal for the ram air just to keep the, uh, uh, the rain out. Uh, you got the right gas fuel filter bowl here to let you know that there's gas in there. The fuel pump is detailed, the washer bag, uh, voltage regulator. These things are painted nicely black. The truth of the matter is it might be a little bit over restored being it might be a little bit nicer than it came out of the factory, but you know what, it's hard to fault the car. It's a little bit nicer than it's supposed to be. All right, so let's check out the inside here. So this is kind of nice. This has some really cool stuff in it that a lot of cars don't have. For instance, this car has telescopic steering wheel. You turn this collar here, undo it, and it comes in and comes out like that, okay? Like we talked about earlier, it has the manual transmission. It's got overdrive here, and you just pull that out for the overdrive, all right? Little stuff like the lights still work behind the temperature control gauge, so you can see that at night, the blower works. This has a little bit of an upgraded sound system in it. Um, but it also has a couple things like, for instance, uh, oh, what's that? Is that power windows? Yeah, how you doing? How you doing, Mr. Power Windows? Very nice to see you. That's always a nice touch to be able to have some power windows. It also has a power seat. How cool is that, man? We're talking 60, 50, 60, 60 years old cars. That's unbelievable. Great style in here, too. You got this cool pod here, 150 mile an hour speedometer. The horn works. Okay, all the lights here, generator oil, fuel gauge, temperature, it's got a factory tachometer, and here's a nice big feature for me that says that somebody spent some time restoring the car, and that is this. The clock works. The clock's spinning right now. It takes a lot to get those things going, and I think that uh, anybody who puts the, the effort in there, let me turn the blower off, all this stuff works. Anyway, how about I fire it up for you so you can uh, hear what it sounds like. Look at that, man, click of the key. Click of the key. This engine turn dash is really cool too. You know, when you're getting a classic car, to get a car like this, this is really the way to do it. You guys have no idea what it takes to get a car to this level, to paint the underside and, and tear the entire car apart, get any rust and things like that, and then put this car all back together and have a professional do it and be able to do it anywhere near the price that this car is selling for. The only reason you can do it in this case here is because somebody's done it, they've had it for 10 years and they don't drive it. They put very few miles on it and it's just a spectacular piece. Forget the fact that it's a spectacular piece. I run down the list of the optional four speed versus the three speed manual transmission. The power seat, the optional uh, convertible top that we had on the car, the chrome plated wire wheels, the power windows, the telescopic steering wheel. It's a really cool iconic car that has some great modern conveniences that make like this, make you smile just talking about it. And when you're watching the video, you can visualize yourself rolling to some restaurant or whatever and driving down the road and you know that everybody else is gonna give you that same smile and hope that you smile back at them. Anyway, if you can find a way to get this in your life, this is one awesome first year bird. Call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.